Happy Thursday! Good morning, everybody. Spring is finally here, even though there's lots of snow. We're good. Oh, okay. Um, okay, I want to tell you guys a quick story because I want to chat about it after. Um, Amanda was telling me about this guy um, in a book that she's reading that I'm also reading. Um, there's an old French guy named James Diderot. Anybody heard of him? Okay, good. He um, he was a French guy who wrote encyclopedias, which is Wikipedia in book form. Um, <laughs> in like the long time ago, like the mid 1700s. Anyway, uh, so he was a very well known Frenchman at the time, but he never did make a lot of money from these writing these encyclopedias. And it came time for his daughter to get married and he didn't have enough money to pay for the wedding. And this um, like Russian empress found out about it and decided she was gonna buy his encyclopedias for like, it was like $60,000 in today's money. So he went from like having almost no money to a whole bunch right at once and paid for his daughter's wedding. And then he decided to buy himself a little something and he bought himself a red velvet robe. And um, when he did that, he decided that now other things in his life were out of place because he wasn't used to living large. So he bought the red robe and then he started looking around and going, well, I think I need a new rug. I think I need a new chair. I think I need a, I, all this stuff. Has that ever happened to you guys before? They call it the Diderot effect because of him, okay? And um, it's quite interesting. I thought about my life and it happens to me all the time. I just haven't been aware of it happening. So it happens whenever you buy something, right? What do you guys, have you, what, what have you guys seen that in your lives? Where have you seen that? Where you bought something and you're like, well, like now I need this. You guys have any examples for me? <laughs> boxing gloves. Okay, what happened when you bought boxing gloves, Tanner? I feel like I need to buy a boxing bag. Yeah. And, and headgear. And then headgear. And then all of a sudden you're asking your parents if we can put a boxing ring in the backyard, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> anybody else have one? What do you got, Lucy? I was getting, I was going shopping with my friends or something and I got some clothes. Yeah. And then I found some lip gloss. I'm like, I do need some lip gloss. Yes. Yes. We all do it, but it's fun to be aware of it, right? Um, like I do it when I buy a car. I'm like, oh, I need to get this for it and that for it. And all of a sudden I'm like, I spent more money on stuff than I did the car sometimes. That's happened to me before. Um, anyway, so we're all guilty of it. Um, what I wanna know is, would you call Diderot or maybe, well, I guess, would you call him, he got that $60,000 at, the, at, the, at a good time, he needed it. Would you call him spoiled or would you call him blessed? Blessed. How come, Hanner? Um, cause <clears throat> spoiled is like he always had that money. Okay. But, um, he first used it on his daughter for okay. her wedding. Okay, good call. That's a good answer. I don't know the answer, but I think that's a good answer. Anybody ever, ha ha anybody disagree? Have a different thought? Was he spoiled or blessed? What do you I think? I think he was both. I think he was both? Because he was blessed because he got the money when he needed it. Okay. And then kind of spoiled himself. Spoiled himself. So spoiled, in, the book, in a book I'm reading, we talk about kind of the difference of spoiled and blessed. And the author of that book says, you know, think about what's spoiled, like bad fruit, spoiled. It's going bad, right? It's it's taking something that was good and, and, it, and making it a bad thing. And blessed doesn't have that same... Uh, connotation right it's more like hey that person has may have something but they're the difference I think is that they're grateful for it okay so gratitude is probably the differentiator between someone who is spoiled because if you think about somebody who's spoiled they just keep wanting more and more and more and they're ungrateful for what they have but somebody who's blessed may have things and they may have nice things but they're grateful for what they have. And um, so that's kind of a, a key important difference here. So um, 
I think one way to check yourself about making sure that you're content in your life about the things that you have is to maybe spend some time with people who are less fortunate than you. So if you ever have an opportunity to um, serve people who may not have as much or, you know, maybe that's here in your own area or maybe it's somewhere in another country, um, you get around people who may not have all the latest stuff, you start to really appreciate what you have, right? Um, that, that, that will change you. Um, I want to kind of close with a quote. Um, have you guys ever heard of C.S. Lewis? Mm -hmm. You've heard of that name before? Yeah. We'll he have wrote to... the Chronicles Yeah, he's a good dude. We'll maybe talk about him another time. But he has an awesome quote, which is, True humility is not thinking less of yourself, but thinking of yourself less. Right? So ponder on that one. True humility is not thinking less of yourself. It's thinking of yourself less. So let's take today, let's be humble let's be grateful let's be content with what we have and there you go here's your thursday thought with brad you guys are awesome have an excellent day